Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the 3D Print Zone. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your Ender 3 V2 to use a Capricorn Bowden tube instead of the stock one that comes with your printer. Now this is actually part of a video series, so I'm doing several upgrades to the printer, including the flexible magnetic bed that you could see here and the metal extruder that you could see here. So if you're interested in 3D printing and upgrades to your printer, then de definitely make sure to check out some of my other videos. And at the end of the video, if you find any value in it, then please like and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, I just wanna briefly explain why you might wanna upgrade your Bowden tube in the first place. So the Bowden tube is responsible for bringing filament from the extruder to your hot end. And you want the filament to be able to glide very uh, smoothly with low friction through the tube. That way it'll come out the hot end nozzle with very little friction and resistance. And so you'll get a nice consistent print. So the Bowden tube that comes stock with your printer, you can see here that the diameter that the filament goes through looks okay, but over the course of the entire length of the Bowden tube, because it's slightly lower quality, it could be a little inconsistent. And what that causes is that the filament doesn't fit very tightly in the Bowden tube and it'll wiggle around a little bit as it moves through it. So one of the benefits of the Capricorn Bowden tube is that the diameter on the inside where the filament is riding against is held much more consistent and therefore the filament is able to flow more freely to the nozzle. So in addition to the dimensional accuracy improvements, the Capricorn Bowden tubes are also have some good uh, physical properties of the material. So it actually has a very low coefficient of friction. In addition to that, it's also heat resistant for higher temp materials. So if you're printing really hot um, prints with the nozzle temperature set up higher, this material will do better at preventing the Bowden tube from warping. And I've even seen in some cases where the Bowden tube will kind of melt at the end and it'll pull out from the fitting. Okay, so the first part of this is pretty easy. We're just going to take uh, this fitting and add it to the extruder. So we can go finger tight and then take the wrench that comes with your 3D printer and snug it up and just tighten it up. There we go. Now, in order to more easily access the fitting here on the other end, um, I'm gonna use the hex wrench that comes with the 3D printer. And there's two screws on the fan cover plate here. I'm just gonna take those off and that'll allow us to take the, the cover off and then we can access the Bowden tube fitting. So now, we can kind of move this out of the way. So this next step could be a little tricky sometimes, but you essentially need to take this plastic uh, gray piece right here and press it down. And I like to use something like a pair of needle nose pliers to pull up at the same time on the tube. And I'm just gonna take the bottom tube out there. And I can access it easier. Okay, so in the previous step, I actually needed a second set of hands and you could see the reason why here. So there's actually filament that clogged the end of the Bowden tube and the Bowden tube is melted a little bit here and that was actually causing the Bowden tube to get stuck in the fitting. All right, so let's open up the new one here. And in addition to the tube, it also comes with some little stickers. And here we go. So here's the tube itself. So I'm not sure how great this shows up in the video, but you can see the difference between the original Bowden tube and the new one and the Capricorn Blue Bowden tube has a nice small tight diameter to fit your filament, whereas this is um, a little looser and also um, a little distorted and not as round. So I've gone ahead and measured out the length that I want. So I'm basically using the same length as the previous tube and I'm just gonna make a cut here. Get some snips. 
Now you're going to want to make sure that you then come back and kind of re-round this out because when you go to cut it, it's going to flatten it out just a little bit. So I can just use my fingers here, applying some pressure and get it back to as close to a round shape as possible. All right, so now we can essentially do the same steps, but in reverse order. So I'm gonna come here and we're going to press the Bowden tube into position all the way down. And now we can go ahead and screw our cover plate back into position. Now I'm just going to snip one of the old zip ties, take that off. I'm going to route the wooden tube along with the rest of the wiring. Put a new zip tie on. And then last but not least, we're going to connect the other end of our fitting, push it in on the extruder side. And it's worth kind of just moving your nozzle all the way to the end just to make sure that you've got plenty of length on your Bowden tube for the travel. All right, so that's going to wrap this video up. If you found any value in it, then please like and subscribe and make sure to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.